Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the best gun guide for the assault rifle category and we're also going to be doing some best class setups for Black Ops 3. Now that we had some patches go through, the Vesper is no longer unarguably the best gun in the game. Uh, the gameplay that you're going to be seeing is just a pub match, but it's still going to give you guys an excellent example of some of the engagements that you can take with this gun, as well as the uh, areas where you can engage your opponent, because this gun is really good in the hands of a player that knows what the heck they are doing. But anyways, before we start off this video, I want to give you guys some uh, Black Ops credentials here. Uh, if you guys uh, didn't know, I do stream also. A lot of you guys ask, what's the best gun in the game? And this is just to help some of you guys out, so I don't have to repeat myself on the stream and stuff like that. Like that I am in the pro series masters in black ops 3 I know it doesn't mean I'm the best player in the game but it just shows you that I have played this game quite a bit and I can give you guys some knowledge on what I think is the best as well as you know what is used in the competitive scene of Call of Duty now for credentials some of you guys know I used to play Halo competitively I used to coach teams and I also used to compete in Halo uh, if you guys remember Walshy back in the Halo days man thanks to Walshy for hooking me up with this but anyways that's out of the way, so now some of you guys understand, like, I know what I'm talking about because there's so many other Call of Duty YouTubers that will tell you what is the best gun in the game, and they're talking about using, like, the Razorback. Like, come on, no one uses the Razorback in competitive, unless, like, literally everything is banned. But for the most part, in competitive, uh, the two guns that get banned in the Assault Rifle category uh, right now are the Shiva and the M8. Now, th these are basically the two ARs that see the most play um, if they are not banned. Obviously, if they're banned, people use the XR2, people use the ICR. I've seen Man of War. I, you know, people use a lot of different things. But for the most part, if these guns are available, people will be using them. And these, obviously, uh, will be used in pubs quite frequently because, of course, in pubs you can't ban anything. But uh, anyways, uh, as far as uh, attachments and my class setup for this gun, uh, before we get into the uh, stats and stuff like that. So uh, this is the first class that I recommend. Uh, this is specifically in Search and Destroy. This is actually pretty much Scumpy's class that he uses. Now keep in mind, in competitive, they run different things because certain things are banned. Now, um, the things that I can recommend for you guys are running the ELO or Reflex for the sights. Uh, the iron sights on this gun are just not very good at all. They kind of, it's a trident plus a, like a uh, circle and it's just not the easiest for a lot of players, including myself, to uh, see it, it's just a little bit obtrusive, so it's just much better to have the elo or reflex. Now you'll see on this class we have long barrel, quick draw, and stock, and then um, that's it for the attachments, and then for perk 1 we have fast hands, and then for perk 3 uh, we have dead silence as well as blast suppressor. So this is basically a search and destroy class, again if you're not playing competitive then uh, you might have access to things like Sixth Sense, you might have access to other things like Awareness that can be uh, a much higher value, but if we're talking about if you want to be the best in the game, more likely you're going to be trying to go into the Arena series to try to rank up, and uh, obviously Awareness gets banned quite often. Rapid Fire and High Caliber are also two great attachments for this gun, uh, but again, those do get banned in the competitive scene, so keep that in mind. If they're available, definitely, heck, use them. Uh, one of my favorites when I actually play, is when they are available, I really like Sixth Sense, uh, because it's just such a great perk, especially on certain maps like Stronghold or certain maps that have multi-layers and you can find out if someone's below or above you. It just helps out a ton for callouts. But, um, yeah, different uh, things will be banned in competitive, so you have to take that into consideration. But I do personally really like Rapid Fire on the gun. If you want a really fun class, uh, this is one I enjoy. This is the one that you're seeing in this gameplay, which is me using ELO, Quick Draw, Rapid Fire, and Stock, and then for perk... Two, I'm running anti-up as well as fast hands and then engineer. It's just so I can keep on getting these care packages because I really like the idea of getting some random thing like wraps and stuff like that. And it happens quite often when you have the ability to reroll. Also, engineer prevents you from dying to things like C4 as well as uh, things like the trip mines and the shock charges, the, like you know the, the shenanigans that goes on. But um, that's pretty much it for the class setups. Again, depending on what is banned and competitive, this is pretty much your go-to class for like search and destroy. Uh, as far as what this gun excels at, you want to be able to challenge people on head glitches. Like, you, see, you barely see that guy's head right there, and we're able to get him, and he can barely see us as well. So, uh, this gun is an excellent gun if you want to challenge people that are on head glitches. And this is a skill-based gun, so um, don't, don't just rapidly fire over and over. If you have rapid fire, that can help a little bit, but you can kill people at most distances with this gun when you run long barrel or if you have like long barrel plus high caliber you can absolutely melt people with this gun 
and that's what it's used for. It's used for challenging people off of head glitches. You can um, basically set up spawn traps relatively easy with this gun because it's just so resilient on being able to stick on point. Like, you don't need a grip on this gun. Some people are like recommending grip. I'm just like, okay, obviously you don't really play competitive. You don't understand. On most burst fire weapons, grip is not really that necessary. But um, that's it for the gameplay, guys. Uh, but I do want to also give you guys the stats because that is something that is very important, especially if you are interested in playing competitive, you want to know the numbers. So let's go ahead and jump right into the numbers, guys. So here's the new Black Ops 3 weapon uh, stats by Marvel 4. I'll also link it down below in the description box. But we're here just to check out the M8, so I will highlight everything in the M8 uh, category so you guys can see over here in blue the stats. So we're just going to be looking at the M8. So this is, again, what I consider the best assault rifle. Yes, you could argue the Shiva is better as far as stats. You can argue the XR2 uh, theoretically is better in the stat department. But overall, I personally think the M8 is the best. A lot of the pro players think the M8 is the best. And I'm not just saying, oh, the pro players play it and, you know, that's what's winning the tournaments. That's what I'm going to say is the best. It legitimately, in my personal opinion, as well as a lot of other people's opinion, it is the best gun. But anyways, um, that said... Uh, as far as like movement speed and stuff like that, that's it's gonna be the same. Like you'll see across the board, it's pretty much the same for the most part. As far as like the ADS and like the movement speed during fire, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is basically the Man of War, as you can see from the stat page. But um, the things that make this gun really strong is it shoots four bullets at once. It's a burst fire weapon, and um, only at the minimum distance or the minimum damage on range, which is 22. Um, it, it's still going to be, if you land your shots, it's going to be you pulling the trigger twice and it will kill almost anyone, uh, in, unless you're playing again, if you're doing some strange stuff like you're doing uplink and they have like, uh, the kinetic armor, things like that will obviously change that. I mean, heck, if they have kinetic armor, you just get the headshots with high caliber, you melt them anyways. This gun is really easy to get headshots with, but uh, it does do 30 damage up close and then it goes off to 29 at distances 2 and 3. The reason why it says that there's diff two different, uh, Damages it's because they have changed the gun and they just kept the weapon. They just uh, Wanted to have the stats have different ranges so they can uh, modify them later if needed But uh, you can see the distances right here. These are done in meters So it's 10 and then it's going to be 15 and then and then minimum damage is anything after the 15 meter mark obviously with long barrel that will double it so I mean, you could use 15 times two hey 30 so uh the long barrel attachment is very good you'll see a lot of people in search and destroy they use it because if you're running long barrel and they're not and you both shoot each other at certain distances one player will get killed that's just the, the simplest way to put it you'll see long barrel very often in search and destroy but in other game modes some people will favor rapid fire like in respawn especially when you know where they're going to be spawning in some of the uh spawn points or some of the choke points in hard points they're very narrow so that can definitely help out a ton but uh you can see like the rate of fire and all that stuff but for the most part i'm thinking most of you guys um have already seen this the only thing that has changed since the last patch is rapid fire did get a small buff um, let me see if it's actually noted in here. There is a small buff. It's like, four, it's it's 4%, but you know what? 4% or like 0 .0 ADS, 0 .01 ADS, you know, anything can matter in Call of Duty. So technically the M8 with rapid fire did get a buff. So did uh, the uh, Pharaoh with the rapid fire buff. But uh, you can see all the view kick. If you want all the stats, like I said, I'll link that down below in the description box. But I personally find the M8 to be the best. I hope this helps some of you guys out. If it helped you guys out, we'd really appreciate a like. So give that like button a TD slap, and thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps you make a better decision in choosing what gun you want to use. But in the assault rifle category, pretty much it's going to be the M8. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'm signing out.